Well, hey, Greg, how are you? I'm very well, Mary. How are you doing? I'm doing as good as I can be doing these days. It's a yeah, uh, yeah. process, but you mm -hmm. know, I, I wanted to know today because we've got some folks who are asking, um, how do you really do this resilience competition thing as a street photographer? You know, it's one thing to to do different kinds of images and edit them or mix them together or whatever. But, you know, how, how, how do I do just straight digital photography about resilience? And that's a good question. And I thought I'd ask you about it because um, you're a very serious mobile photographer. And, um, you know, you're articulate. So I'm wondering what you might think about. How, how, do, you, how do you imagine resilience? Um, first of all, pardon my wireless doorbells. They go crazy when there's somebody's at the door. <laughs> but, okay. um, uh, well, when it comes to the word resilient, I mean, first thing I thought of was you because you're, you're, you're you know, you're, what you've had to go through in the last year and a half or so is just crazy for one. Um, now, the other thing, resilience, I thought, okay, I want to make this um, fit the competition, right? I, I don't, I don't want to be thrown out of it for not doing, uh, submitting an image that really fit the theme. So what do I I resort to the dictionary and I look up the meaning of resilience. And I was kind of close in my mind to what it actually meant. But what I did was I, so I, it, and obviously it means like bouncing back from something I, and, um, or having the ability to bounce back. And so I had an image in mind of a, of a fern growing out of the rock face of the Niagara Escarpment. And I thought, okay, well, that's, you know, that's not bad, but that's not really resilience in my opinion. So I had another image that I took last winter and it was from a nearby town uh, at the shore on, along the shoreline of the bay. And, and a few days prior, there was a lot of wind and, and waves were crashing and everything else. And there was a low hanging branch that the ice had built up on the branch, pulled it down to the ground and the ice melts into the um, into the ground and it just looks like a, a big formation and but I know that someday that ice would melt and the tree would the bounce the, the branch sorry would bounce back up uh -huh. and uh -huh. hence resilience so that's that's in my opinion kind of the epiphany of of or the epitome of of resilience and so that's why I submitted that particular photo well, I, I love that. And I and I love hearing about how you thought about it, because mm -hmm. some folks are having a hard time thinking about it. And that sounds really accurate to me. It's like looking for things that will show you bounce back, which could happen in all kinds of ways. So yeah, yeah, I love that. And thank you. <laughs> well, you're very welcome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 